Hello everyone. Today we have once again have our guest from Thomas More University, Ms. Anik. So Anik, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Can you please introduce yourself and about your university? Yes, uh, thank you um, for asking me to participate. Uh, I'm Anik uh, Sjellens and I am uh, actually the responsible, so I'm the manager for all international programs, so English programs at Thomas More University of Applied Sciences in Belgium. Great. So you have Indian students at the moment from, uh, from our region? Uh, we do have Indian students. Uh, not that many yet, but um, we were so happy or will be so happy to welcome more students as we do have a big um, community in, in, of Indian uh, inhabitants in Belgium already. So we are seeking to uh, yeah, uh, welcome more students from India as well. I came to you, I believe uh, it was uh, last to last year. And uh, we uh, then recruited students for your university and I met in my students as well and they mm -hmm. were quite happy and I also made a blog, uh, you know, um, in, in, in Belgium with my students, which I'm going to put also in my this podcast uh, blog where students can actually access our student feedback because a lot of my students who were studying there, they were, uh, you know, quite happy and quite satisfied with the education quality and I still remember your multimedia lab where you give the cameras and all the equipment to students for 50 euros a year. That was a great opportunity, I would say. So yeah, this is what those, the very important was that to bring you again on this podcast where we can talk more about the education. So when we talk about the education quality, the European Union has ECTS system where we say you have credit points. So your bachelor degrees are for four years or three years. Our bachelors in Belgium are three years. Um, so if you compare it to the situation uh, in the Netherlands, for instance, there it's most common that the bachelor takes four years. So you gain one year, yeah, you have uh, quicker your diploma and uh, yeah, you, you reduce the costs as well with one year. So an extra yeah, that you get in Belgium. Students who come to Belgium, they have uh... One thing they always come to me, you know, that they're looking for an uh, opportunity to work during their studies. Students are allowed to work while they study? Yes, they can. Uh, actually, they can work up to 20 hours a week uh, during school weeks. Yes, but um, yeah, uh, it is uh, a great opportunity for them to work more during holiday weeks. And in Belgium, we do have quite a lot of holiday weeks, so then they can work more. And in total, uh, they can uh, work as to 600 hours uh, a academic year. They can pass that limit, but then they have to pay taxes. So everything below 600 hours is tax free. So a great opportunity to uh, earn some money besides uh, as well. So can I say 20 hours per week, they can work? Thank they you. can work, yeah. Okay, great. So when we talk about the opportunity for master's students, you because you have bachelor's and master's two programs, uh, I believe you do not give master's, you give postgraduate diplomas. No, we do have postgraduate certificates and that is typical Belgian situation. In Belgium, you have two types of universities, the universities of applied sciences, which we are, and we are the specialist in bachelor programs, so three year bachelor programs. We do offer as well short bachelor programs and short bachelor programs are uh, ideal for students who have already another bachelor and want to add a second one yeah and then they uh, most of the time they can shorten up even their uh, program uh, from three years into two or one and a half year which is a, also a, a good opportunity for students coming from abroad to want to have this international experience and at the same time do not want to spend uh, too many time abroad um, and then this is a a possibility next to our postgraduate programs that we uh, organize. These are postgraduate certificate programs and they all lead uh, for one year. Okay, so basically, uh, either they can, so students from coming from class 12 from India, they come uh -huh. 
study their bachelor's full bachelor for three years, or yes. someone who's already doing a bachelor in India, they can also do a transfer student. Like say, I have done two years of my bachelor's in India, and I want to come for the third year with you. It's possible. Yeah, then they have to uh, mention that uh, when they apply, and then we uh, look into their personal file, and then we propose them an uh, individual solution. So that kind of questions are always uh, looked after uh, via our uh, admissions team, and they are taking the final decision into that. Yeah. Of course, you, you see the matchmaking of the courses he has studied, how much he has studied, you know, and accordingly only you will. I uh, recommend which year he should go in one or second year or third year depending upon the past education yeah yes yes so uh if the past education is very similar to what we do here then the student can get a lot of exemptions um if it is totally different yeah then the student has to do maybe the whole program uh, depending from your background if you have studied uh, law, for instance, in India, and then you're coming for an international communication program, yeah, it's totally different, and then you have to take it from scratch. Uh, but yeah. if you have already a communication background, then we can see uh, how many exemptions we can uh, offer the student. Okay, so uh, bachelor is one thing, transfer is second thing, third thing which comes is the top up bachelors where students have a bachelor degree, but he wants to have another bachelor. Now we are talking about this different thing, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so, but um, it, it the, the system is the same. Yeah, we always uh, take a look, okay, what has this student studied before? And then we will, if he doesn't know which program fits him the best then we will guide him as well but we will always see okay what have this has a student already studied and what is the best fit for for the student and uh, after that the postgraduate certificate program which you mentioned this now so uh, the at the uh, this is the last uh, option they have after completing their bachelor's yeah, uh, the postgraduate certificate programs, the bachelor programs are very broad, I would say. Yes, yeah? so this is really a general education in one field, of course, but the postgraduates are very narrowing. Yeah, so they you really need a specific background before you can enter the program and there will be a selection there will be a, an interview a student has to send in a portfolio has to send in um, a cv and so on to make sure that the background fits super well yes this is separately from if you just have finished your secondary education then you can come to a bachelor's degree because there we start all over again and we will learn you everything from scratch you don't need previous knowledge but for the postgraduate certificates you do need previous knowledge so it's very important that there is a good fit so coming to the admission requirements in general we're talking about as you just already mentioned that the relevance background is mandatory in the postgraduate certificates you have got three postgraduate certificates uh, can we quickly go through those one is going to be African business studies, where you are looking for uh, students who have business education, I believe, in the past. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, therefore, they have they need a business uh, a business background, yeah. And then for uh, for instance, space and service design, they really need already. Um, um, have been done some uh, architecture or interior designer, something like that, and then they fit into that uh, program. Uh, we do have also international teachers, so if they are already a teacher, no matter uh, what the level is, so if it is for little children or bigger ones, it doesn't matter, but the teacher background should be there, then they fit in international teacher. We will start as well uh, with some new postgraduate certificates as from uh, September. Uh, and uh, this one is Creative Belgium uh, Design. For the moment, uh, focusing on students who are uh, already EEA or in Belgium. Yeah, but it will open um, in the future as well for students from India. And then the other one is uh, really focusing on uh, supply chain, 
but for um, pharma uh, sector and healthcare sector. So students with already a background of logistics, I would say, they would fit very nice in this uh, special postgraduate certificate. So our students from India can apply for September intake only for African business study and international teachers and of course the logistic and supply chain. Yes, yes, yes. The students who, uh, who have a pharma and healthcare background, uh, when we, they can like bachelor in pharmacy, bachelor in health sciences or somebody who has done nursing, can he also qualify for this, even the nurses? Uh, I then uh, there is always an interview, yeah, and and then they will see if uh, because sometimes the diploma doesn't say everything, yeah. So uh, you really um, th they really look into uh, what is needed, yes, in uh, to have yeah uh, a good background, and therefore uh, sometimes it might be that they didn't study. Uh, global uh, supply chain or something like that but they, they had already uh, yeah uh, experience in the pharma or the healthcare or the supply chain industry and then they would take the student as well okay yes yeah, so not only focusing on what have they studied before because sometimes studies is one thing and then work experience is another thing so basically when we talk about the uh, you know, entry requirement. I think I'm going through the program. Uh, mm -hmm. students, uh, who have the bachelor degree probably in the uh, business field, you know, and logistic and supply chain, they fit in this program quite well. Yes, yes. If they have supply dom supply chain management studies, it is okay. Okay. So Even if they had a business um, background, but they had one or two courses already in supply chain management because uh, sometimes it is uh, incorporated in a in a business studies uh, program because it, it differs from country to country then it will work as well but without any connection with supply chain management or working experience it would it would be impossible i think okay super so business students can apply for two programs supply chain and the the Pharma Health Logistics and the, in the African Business and International mm -hmm. Students for the teacher's background who have a uh, so student who have a bachelor degree and an experience in teaching, can he apply uh, for international teachers? Would you consider the work experience as a relevancy? Um, they should really have already a qualification of teacher. It doesn't matter if it is a uh, primary, uh, secondary yeah. or preschool level, that doesn't matter. But they need really this uh, qualification of teacher. Okay. Coming to the now bachelor degree programs, you have multiple bachelor degree programs available. So if you can go about the program option, you have how many bachelors in total? Uh, well, it, it uh, uh, depends on how you count, but I would say uh, if we have all these uh, the specialties, then we do have uh, 18, yes? But it really depends on how you count. Uh, for instance, if you um, have uh, the program International Communication, then you have one specialty and that is called webbing and activation and another specialty is public and corporate affairs so we have the one program but actually it are two programs because the content is very different um, and if you uh, take it um, in his uh, most extended way then we do have 18 uh, programs available in english for your students great International Tourism and Leisure is a bachelor degree program. It's a full mm -hmm. bachelor. It is a, a full, yes, a three year program. Yes. And I think this is one of the popular, one of the a lot of students come from India because I see a lot of students are coming for the tourism, hospitality, you know, and events. I think for them, it could be a good program. Uh, some program, I know that you have mathematics requirement and some program doesn't require mathematics. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 
Yeah, we actually we don't require a certain um, yeah level of mathematics, but of course, for instance, if you would be interested in the data science protection and security program, it would be nice if you have some mathematic uh, background. Yes, um, sometimes even for electronics, um, it could help you. Yeah, but uh, it is not a requirement as in Belgium, and that is typically. Um, we do uh, welcome students uh, with a different background in our bachelor's degree as normally we begin from scratch. But of course, um, it goes very quick in some courses. And if you have the right background, it will help you to succeed uh, better. Yeah, but it is not um, something that we require before the start, it's just a help um to get uh, better study results i would say okay great so uh, i can see that there are multiple programs available and i'm sure students can find uh, some of the options coming to the opportunity while studying in belgium with thomas More university do i have an opportunity to go on erasmus exchange yes absolutely uh, we're super happy uh, to have uh, collaboration with a lot of universities, not only in Europe, but also outside of Europe. And uh, we always try to give our students an international experience and make it as international as possible in our uh, English programs. Because, of course, you uh, students will be in an international classroom environment but we will add international other experience as well. In the first year, sometimes uh, the program has an international project, which means that uh, students work together with students from another university in another country, supervised by their professor. In the second year, normally uh, there is a uh, study exchange possibility within Europe or outside of Europe. And then in the uh, last year, there is always an uh, internship included into the program and uh, there the student can opt for I will make it an international one or I just will stay in Belgium up to yeah his needs or um, what he really wants. Great. Coming to the admission requirement, you already mentioned about the relevance background or not. Is there any specific percentage students should have in their high school? to get admission into Thomas More University, like a mini, minimum benchmark? Yeah, it is uh, It is very special for India because uh, you do have a lot of different uh, diplomas, I would say. And therefore, it's really recommended that the student, uh, I would say, contacts uh, uh, your company to verify because uh, your uh, team members, they do have a list of all the um, diplomas we accept and with the marks that are needed, the percentages that are needed. Um, I, I cannot say you need this because there is really a list, a big list. Yeah. Good. Good. So uh, when we come to the uh, admission criteria, English language uh, certification is required. And I can see you expect you accept multiple language tests. So mm -hmm. uh, other than IELTS and TOEFL, which is normally accepted, any other tests do you accept? Uh, well, we do accept as well the Cambridge Assessment uh, English test. Uh, we do uh, accept uh, as well TOEIC, uh, Duolingo, uh, that is also a possibility. Um, Duolingo is, I think, the cheapest uh, international language test that exists. So it's also a great opportunity for students and it can be uh, done totally um, uh, online. And the minimum score we require is 110 for uh, Duolingo. So there are a lot of options actually. And it is also accepted by the Embassy of Belgium in New Delhi. Yeah, um, it will be accepted, although we see that the embassy has a little preference for IELTS and TOEFL tests. So if the student really wants to be sure, uh, IELTS and TOEFL uh, would be uh, recommended. But okay. from our side, from Thomas More's side, uh, we do accept uh, yeah, all the tests I mentioned. Okay, uh, just to be now when you have discussed this, uh, do you have students coming from India who have got the visas also with Duolingo? 
Um, I do think so, uh, but I really have to look into my uh, data. I've, I've uh, not thought of, uh, yeah, um, I, I, can, I can give you uh, the results uh, later on, uh, yeah. No problem. So basically, yeah. when we talk about the, uh, the whole procedure, when is the mm -hmm. end? The next intake would be in which, in which month? The next intake will be in September. Uh, in September, uh, the admission uh, is now open already um, for September. Um, they have to keep the deadline in mind because um, the application deadline is the 3rd of June, uh, 3 June, sorry, 3 June. Uh, but I would really recommend the students to apply as um, yeah, as soon as possible, yeah, because don't forget um, the student needs uh, a visa. This might take um, several weeks, sometimes it takes longer. So if you really want uh, to be sure, I would say, uh, why wait? You can apply already now, yeah? Great. When we talk about the average tuition fee in bachelor degree program, it will be how much in euros after scholarship? Um, we do have uh, two pricings, yes. So uh, for our students, the t normal tuition fee is for a bachelor degree uh, about 9,000 uh, euros, yes. Um, 9,000 euros, this is a pricing without a scholarship. But we are very proud to offer students a scholarship at Thomas More. And it is a scholarship that is based um, on merit at Thomas More. So regardless if you were a brilliant student in India um, or not, uh, you all get uh, the same possibility to get this um, scholarship on merit at Thomas More. And it is linked to uh, your uh, study results after the first semester. Um, then we uh, take a look at your uh, study results. If they are good, then you will get this scholarship and this scholarship um, will remain as long as the student is enrolled and gets good study results at Thomas More. So it is not only after the first semester, it can also be for your second year and your third year. Um, yeah, so we really want to support students uh, enrolled in a bachelor's degree. Okay, so as a student, when I'm coming to study bachelor's, I have to pay tuition fee of 9,000 euros mm -hmm. uh, initially and, uh, and also my blocked account of approximately 8,000 euros because in Belgium, I believe you have to block the money as well for the visa. Yes, yes. We do work with the blocked account. Um, the blocked account covers, I would say, your living expenses in Belgium. Yeah, food, housing, etc. Um, the blocked amount for a student who will start in uh, September 2024 will be 11,300. And these are the, um, uh, yeah, this amount covers your uh, expenses, I would say, for a whole academic year. Uh, why do we work with the blocked account procedure? Because if the embassy sees that this is money that is blocked on an um, account of Thomas More, uh, they uh, rely on the fact that the student is financial solvent and that he can really uh, yeah, have a great life uh, in Belgium and at Thomas More. Students, uh, is there a change in your scholarship system? Because um, the student who went last year, they have got the scholarship early and they paid tuition fee of 7,200 or was it the same same system? Because we have some students who have got the scholarship early. I mean, they don't have to. Uh, you can get a scholarship as from the second semester. Yeah, not before. Okay. Yeah. The student has to pay the full tuition fee in advance. No, no. The student has to pay the first, so the fixed cost and the first semester. So in front, the student will have to pay 6,750 euros okay. for tuition fee, yes. 
and of course the blocked amount, uh, which is uh, 11,300. And then uh, once the student comes to Belgium and he subscribes for his whole program, then he will get an additional uh, payment request for the second semester. Okay. But in front, first semester and fixed cost. So six plus three, nine total he has to pay, six now before the visa, and three he has uh, to pay. 6,750, yeah, okay. so it's almost 7,000, yeah. And, two, and, and, and 2,000, maybe something he has to pay before the second semester starts as the yes. institution fee. Okay, but uh, if he has done good, then he probably will get a scholarship uh, mm -hmm. and pay less amount. Yes, he can earn a scholarship of uh, the maximum is 1,800. Okay. But it is a, a, a great scholarship that we give. So I always tell, please, please study well. Then you can gain without working, yeah, uh, extra. You can gain already uh, 1,800 um, euros. So, uh, yeah. Great. So Don't uh, miss that. <laughs> sure. Students who pay you this blocked account, this money is going to the university account or the bank account? Um, it is uh, on a bank account on the name of Thomas More, but it is regulated. We cannot do anything with that money. We can just, we are just allowed by Belgian law to give it back to the student when he arrives in Belgium. So when the student arrives in Belgium, he opens a Belgian bank account and then we transfer each month the money from the blocked account to the account of the student. Right. So, how much money do you pay to the student every month on month? Uh, the student will get uh, every uh, month uh, approximately uh, 850 euros. Okay. Except the first month, the first month, the student will get a double amount. So, okay. 850 times 2, because the first month, we know that the student needs more money. He has to settle down, has to buy books, uh, and therefore we pay him back a double amount. And the next installment will come in the third month? The next month, he just gets 8, 850 euros, and the other months, 850, 850, yeah. Another perfect question. I have paid with my living expenses, and I am coming to Belgium, do you, how much money do you expect me to bring with me, uh, you know, in cash? Because any which ways I'm going to get money from you. So do you still want me to bring some cash in hand? Uh, it would be great if your student has, uh, brings uh, some cash with, with him. Yes. Uh, because um, we can only transfer the money when the student opens a Belgian bank account. Yes. And that takes a little bit of time as well. So the student really needs time to bridge this period. And sometimes they forget that. Yeah. They think, okay, I arrive in Belgium and I get my money. Yes. You get your money when you have your own bank account in Belgium. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes the student uh, has not reached out uh, for uh, a room to live in. So sometimes they, uh, uh, have um, yeah uh, spent a night in a hotel or in a youth hostel or whatever and uh, please advise your students to foresee money for that as well so I would it in an ideal world I would say if you have 850 uh, once more available it would be super nice there will be no stress and then you can uh, send it back home uh, if you don't need this money but it will be really a stress reliever for your students. Can student open TransferWise account to get their money uh, back? Can the, can the student open an additional bank uh, account like TransferWise? You know, there are there yeah. Are so Wise, Wise or Revolut, there are, are uh, banks that uh, are also possible, but. Uh -huh. uh, the money on the bl blocked account can only be transferred to a Belgian bank account. Ah, okay. But, but yeah, so or if, if your student has a, a visa card available, also fine. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. these foresee some money uh, for your first, uh, I would say, first two weeks 
um yeah so wise account is a belgium account and if the student come with a visa card uh, of the wise account he can it can be used right the visa visa works in belgium yes yeah so if student have a wise account and a card issued by a wise account which is a visa account you know visa card and he that can be used he doesn't have to go to the belgian bank no uh this this for the blocked account he has to open a belgian blo- uh a oh. belgian account yeah oh. okay. for the blocked account for all the rest we don't care the student can use uh whatever he likes yes but for the blocked account we really need a belgian bank account great and at the uh, masters level and uh, you don't have any programs the student who finish the postgraduate diploma from your university can they do their masters in some other university and if they can which one do you recommend um if a student has um a bachelor degree yeah from thomas more there are several possibilities uh, a student can go to a master in belgium but most of the time there is no master available in english that uh, fits for his uh, belgian uh, bachelor degree so what we advise is that uh, the student uh, looks around um, go to the netherlands for his masters or in uh, uk or uh, germany or whatever and there sometimes there are uh, good opportunities to proceed with uh, a master degree when student finish their bachelor's degree or a post grad diploma do they get stay back option by the belgium authorities to find a job stay back yes in- yes Hello. so uh for the post graduate certificate or for the bachelor's uh, degree at thomas more they all get a one year uh what we call search year possibility and they have the possibility to look for a job um after their graduation Yes. Uh what we at Thomas More do as well, we offer as an extra service for our alumni, yeah. Uh we offer the blocked account procedure once again. Yeah, because we really uh, notice that the blocked account procedure is uh, a very smooth way to get accepted for this search year and therefore we do accept um uh, have this service uh, as well for our alumni. Um what we do as well for the students is that we um do organize job fairs um to um uh, get them connected with uh companies within Belgium who have job offers and so we try to yeah make the match between student and company as well. So you said at the bachelor's student has to do a blocked account only for the first year or all three years? uh for the first year it is obligatory for the next two years uh it's free yes so the student can choose for a blocked account or the student uh can uh, go via sponsorship uh, if he wants what we discover is that uh the smoothest process because once the student arrives yes he has to go to the municipality with a student visa and say okay i really want a residence permit for belgium this residence permit will be given very smoothly because he has a student visa this residence permit lasts for one academic year afterwards it has to be renewed and the student has to prove again that he has enough financial means to survive one extra year in belgium mm-hmm. then there are several options to prove that you have enough financial means but we discovered that if you can prove that you have put again the amount on the blocked account that then you have a smooth operation and you get your residence permit for the second or the third year very easily so mm-hmm. it is the blocked account is really recommended to all the years that you study at Thomas More only the first year we really um uh have said that this is obligatory for from us great but for the job seeker visa the stay back option the students uh, is it the mandatory requirement to have a blocked account 
it is not a, a mandatory requirement but again uh, if a student has this blocked account it is a smooth process otherwise they will uh, sometimes track where does the money come from is this certain that the student has enough money to survive one but year in belgium and therefore it is really recommended if you really want a, a smooth uh yeah operation i would say in belgium it is highly recommended fair enough so students have done their degree they have a coming for the, the masters or bachelors the first thing comes is accommodation do you have your own accommodation and how much is cost uh, we do have uh, accommodation on campus, but it is limited. But um, the cost of accommodation on campus or in the private uh, sector, it is the same. So you don't gain money or you don't get anything cheaper if you would uh, hire a room uh, from our uh, services. Um, it is really depending from city to city. So I always say there are three things that uh, make the price for your room. One, the city you're living in. General rule, the bigger the city is, the more you pay. So if you would uh, like to stay in Brussels, you would pay more than if you uh, are looking for a room in Mechelen, uh, where one of our campuses uh, is. Um, the prices differ, I would say, from, yeah, the cheapest one would be around 300 euros a month. And uh, it can go up to 700, sometimes uh, 800, at, depending on what you want, yeah, uh, and where. So it differs from city to city. Of course, the bigger the room, the more you pay. And of course, the more privacy you want, the more you pay as well. If you want your own kitchen, your own bathroom, then you have uh, like a little apartment from your own and you don't share it with other students, then the price will go up as well. Great. So lots of information for students who want to study in Belgium. But yes. To security point of view, is it a good, is it a secure, is it a secure place? Do you have any yeah. Yes, absolutely. You don't have to be afraid. Uh, also for girls, uh, they can easily walk uh, in the streets at night. Um, it is really a safe place and, and, and people, the Belgians, are very happy to live in Belgium. Uh, we are also, uh, I think, amongst the 20 uh, first countries uh, on the happy uh, index or something like that. So, um, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, you can walk in the park. You can go. Uh, you can go out uh, if you want um, without any hesitation. Great. And I, we had been working with you since last year. We students are coming up, you know, and they've been studying with you. Uh, what is your feedback with the students when you have? I must. I must have spoken to students. Are they happy with our services? What do you say on that? Um, students are very happy uh, with Thomas More in general. Yeah, uh, we got recently also um, some uh, certifications. Uh, this were were done by um, uh, a company that uh, makes a survey amongst uh, all other universities, uh, and uh, this, there came out that uh, students are very happy to be at Thomas More because they like. Um, of course, the international aspect, uh, the thing that we are really uh, practical, have a practical uh, way of teaching, and that uh, connection between students and teachers is uh, very um, close, I would say. It's not that the teacher uh, or the professor is somebody uh, far away and, and uh, you hardly can speak him. No, 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 there is uh, a great community from students and professors at Thomas More, and uh, yeah, they they really uh, liked uh, that aspect. Great. Any message do you have for our students for coming and take? Any message? Don't hesitate. <laughs> Just come and discover it. Uh, no, uh, what I would say is there is also a, a possibility to. Uh, 
to chat with uh, students uh, on our website. They can discover that function. Uh, they can reach out to you. You were in Belgium and I think you discovered it yourself and you can compare uh, what it was in Belgium and what it is in uh, India. So I think uh, you are trust, uh, uh a trust a reliable source uh, to compare as well um, and we will be happy to welcome them we have a great international support team that is uh, very welcoming and uh, always there to help our students out great and i thank you so much for the session i'm sure uh, once the session is live a lot of students are going to come with the questions and once we have a decent amount of questions Students, you can uh, comment in the video and then we will be hosting a session where you'll be invited to talk about Belgium. And in case you have any questions, we can break your questions and give you the live answers. So, Anna, thank you so much. And once again, see you soon in this end of this year. And I'm sure there are a lot of students who will be seeing this video and take this as an opportunity to apply to study with you. Okay, I would love to welcome them all. Thank you. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.